Hello, I'm Keizu Yamaguchi, the president of Hokkaido University. Do you enjoy studying? I have not come across many students who do. Why then would you want to study if you do not enjoy it? Perhaps to realize your dreams? That's wonderful. For money, you are being honest. Because you enjoy learning, you may be a genius. I believe everyone has their own reasons. At Hokkaido University, we support those who study with the hope to solve the global issues. You may be asking yourself, what? Can I solve the global issues? Well, there is no need to worry. The alumni of the Hokkaido University are already tackling numerous global issues. Today, I would like to introduce you to one of our alumni. He has been dealing with the global challenges in Zambia and Africa. He is Professor Alom Mwini. This is a challenge that he is facing. The Ebola virus rampaging through Western Africa. Professor Aaron, who is in the front line, has taken time out of busy schedule to send us a video message. In addition to teaching, I conduct research activities on imaging and zoonotic infections, especially those of viral origin. So with the skill and knowledge that I acquired at Hokkaido University, we are conducting collaborative research activities on the ecology and the epidemiology of these infections. So along with that, there is now the case of Ebola virus disease outbreak in Africa. The World Health Organization has actually uh, declared it a public health emergency of international concern. So in Zambia, working with the Ministry of Health, our laboratory, we have been entrusted with the task of diagnosis of this particular uh, virus. Now, along with that, I can say that the country is better prepared to detect, identify, and monitor the outbreak if it occurred in our country. I would like to ask a young you know, scientists out there to remain focused and work hard uh, in their areas of specialization so that they can contribute quality science for the betterment of global public health. Thank you. We truly appreciate Professor Allen's contribution. I'm proud of his great efforts. Hokkaido University has sent researchers to Africa. And in collaboration with Professor Aaron, they are fighting to bring the spread of Ebola under control. Remember, there are many more alum alumni around the world who are working hard to solve global issues right at this moment. You may be thinking, I won't be able to do something so great. However, if you acquire three competencies, you will be able to make a contribution toward solving global issues. First, it is to have a field of expertise. Next, a comprehensive perspective. Finally, multicultural communication. In order to offer learning opportunities to students around the world that focus on these three competencies, Hokkaido University will be making a great effort than ever before I will explain to you step by step as to what this means. First, in order to develop a field of expertise, opportunity to learn from the top runners is important. Therefore, the Hokkaido University will be holding Hokkaido Summer Institute from June to August. Students are able to communicate directly with the world's leading researchers and those working for the world. Second, in order to develop a comprehensive perspective, the opportunity to have discussions with researchers from other fields is necessary. Therefore, we periodically hold an interdisciplinary conference. Among the various global issues, specific issues are identified and new ideas 
towards solving issues are gen generated through discussion with researchers in various fields of study. Third, in order to develop competencies in multicultural communication, opportunities to learn in a foreign culture is important. In the next 10 years, we will increase the number of international students studying at Hokkaido University from the current 1,400 to 4,000 and create a truly multicultural campus. In addition, the university plans to increase the number of students studying overseas on a short-term basis from 400 to 1,700 annually. As such, in order to develop human resources that can solve the world's issues, Hokkaido University will be working towards hustling the competencies of field of expertise, comprehensive respect perspectives, and multicultural communication. So, today, we have invited a special guest, an alumnus who has changed the world through technical innovation. And this is what he has done. The results of his research have been successfully applied in the mass production of liquid crystal displays. Do you know who this is? This is Professor Emeritus Akira Suzuki. In 2010, he received the Nobel Prize. Today, we have the honor of having him here. Please welcome with me, Professor Akira Suzuki. Okay. The devoted, relentless effort of Professor Suzuki and his fellow researchers has changed the face of the chemosynthetic world. Professor Suzuki, what do you think is important and necessary to the great study that contributes to the world? I'd like to tell you one of my uh, experience. I have never considered so big hope to change the world. So I'd like to tell you what young people have to consider and uh, have to do in their youth. There's, I think, uh, three points, which are the first one is uh, enriching the basic knowledge. Second is uh, studying overseas and uh, des deciding on a target for the future. When I was in high school, I liked uh, math. So I was uh, thinking the, of uh, learning mathematics at the university. After I entered Hokkaido University, I took the uh, many basic scientific uh, courses. During that time, I read a book called Organic Chemistry, written by Professor Fieser of Harvard University. I uh, read it almost more than 33 times. 33 times? So uh, it was then the, I recognized uh, chemistry to be wonderful. And then I changed my mind and decided to learn the organic chemistry with a major in chemistry. Professor Suzuki, is this a book that changed your life? Yes, this is uh, such a book. I recommend the students to take the opportunity to study abroad. You can obtain the, not only a lot of knowledge from uh, foreign professors, but also you can make uh, many for, uh, foreign friends. When I received the Nobel Prize in the Chemistry 2010, I had a many message of congratulations from the, such a, my old friend. The, we are keeping, uh, still keeping a good friendship for long years, more than 50 years. Is this a photo from when you were studying overseas? This is a picture I took the, uh, when I visited uh, the United States. 
at the Purdue University. I spent there all about two years, from 1963 to 65. And uh, as uh, I spent there as a postdoc with Professor Herbert G. Brown, he's also Nobel laureate. He received the Nobel Prize in uh, 1979. Finally, I'd like to tell the students about the importance of uh, decisions you make uh, for your futures. These uh, decisions firmly establish the uh, means and the uh, goal for your life and uh, pay the way the, for your uh, advancement. So the decision you made, you made was to choose chemistry in major. I choose math. <laughs> OK. In a, uh, any field and in any vocation, the strong interest in study does open up your world. Basic knowledge, studying overseas, and choosing a career path. Professor Suzuki, thank you for your powerful message. Thank you very much. OK. Please applause for Professor Suzuki. <laughs> Professor Suzuki made a tremendous change in the field of chemosynthesis through his tireless commitment in pursuance of the truth. Sometimes the world changes by one person's effort, and that one person can be you. Now, Hokkaido University is standing at a major turning point with its 150th anniversary approaching. One of our new ambitions is what I shared with you today. Our aim is to become one of the world's most prominent universities that can develop human resources capable of solving global issues. In order to achieve this goal, the university's learning environment has been currently undergoing fundamental reforms since the spring of 2014. Under the Future Strategy 150, through this effort, we will be able to offer higher quality of sport for students. Everyone, let us work hand in hand to tackle the challenges our world faces today and make a better future. Thank you.